I get too many games, I can at least try them all. This is my first impression backlog death march. So, technically, Ludo Narakon is going on right now. So, uh, this is just a demo. I don't technically have the game, but whatever. One thing to note. Uh, hold on a sec here. Okay, as I was saying... This one, for some reason, it automatically opened in my VR headset. Uh, again, HTC Vive. Don't know why it did that. It's not a, like an actual, doesn't seem to be an actual VR game. It's just uh, running on like a uh, screen in uh, VR. No idea why it is doing that. This is just a weird mode they decided to put in there. Let's take a look here. Right, right, yeah, yep, 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 whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, I will change all of this if it becomes necessary. Audio. Uh, like, what, like, what you're even, uh, seeing at the recording is just, you know, it displays it in the headset and on the desktop, so you don't see my head, like, moving around, looking at different stuff, so. It is definitely weird, but I will give it a shot, see how it goes. It's the standard, you know, key, so I don't see why it would be in VR at all. So, I thought I had turned a, a VR off completely, so maybe this is not even a thing with the game. It is just a... Maybe I'm stupid. That's always a possibility. <laughs> Alright. Anyway... Ooh, game. Okay. Sorry, I missed your call. Yeah, no problem. Twenty seven on the buzzer. I am just enough time to clean up. All right, uh, A and D to move around, press E to interact. Insurance frauds, lost cars, and strange lovers should probably get rid of some of these. Eh, okay. Damn thing stopped working a long time ago. Gotta hit Frankie up next time. I'm in Fussdale. But I have cash, so never. Oh, it's on a fridge. Call mom, buy soap, pay bills, and don't die. In that order. Photo chemical. Leaving developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning or a great soup. Okay. Hard to get tired of the view. So, toilet. Okay. Toilet books. The great apes, the great story, sweet toilet read. Kind of weird uh, doing this in uh, the VR headset. It is a pretty flat screen. I wonder if there's some kind of settings I can change. Although I'm still under the assumption that uh, I am in the these are the VR thing because it's something the game did, not something that some mistake I may have made. So I'm gonna have to run an experiment before I am done with this first impression. Make sure all is good. Everything knows it's proper place. Heh. Hey, do I do anything with... Okay. Back to desk. Uh, use... Okay, use a to drag and drop items. Some items can be picked up by pressing... Okay. Okay. So, you use E, you don't actually click on stuff. All right. I do line up the pencil. 
Oh. Oh, yeah, so. Close. Put that in the sink. Or sink. Okay, uh, the. That's weird. The stove is nowhere near like a sink. That is a. Uh, Range configuration. Okay, what am I missing here? Uh, shuffling. See, uh, every day I'm shuffling to try to see what the hell. Please, did you... okay. I use that sink. Wash these later, probably not. Must be Mrs. Green. All right, I'm guessing that is kind of the tutorial section. Oh, debt. Excuse me, I'm looking for a detective Lotar. We spoke on the phone. Detective Lotar? Don't know where Lotar is. Uh, do -do -do -do. Poor bag. Okay. Yep, don't try to lead her on. Custody won't be a question. I don't know if there's something to make you think he would. I yeah, I do actually need every edge I can. Always a private kind of man. Something poignant, a kind of verbal stink. Hmm. They look like where did I find him? The Wolf Bank in Granville. Uh, 
<laughs> Doesn't matter, I've trusted you, you trust me. All right. So, can I see my inventory? Right, Graham, uh, enlightening account of the last beacon. All right, if I'm uh, clicking through, the, I should have mentioned this before, if I'm clicking through the text too fast, go ahead and pause the video or something. I'm not going to read all of it aloud. Ooh, tab. So. Media set is bricked again. Frankie, you could possibly fix it. Get all the way to Fustale. All right. Should it be easy peasy? This text right here. Hold on a sec. Yeah. Like I said, I am uh, kind of playing in my VR gogs right now, but even in here, that text is like nearly impossible to read. Like this one literally is a uh, garbled, but this is a, I think this is a work in progress. So I'm not too worried. Picture of Odette's husband doesn't really strike you as a sleazy skirt chaser. Maybe he doesn't seem handsome enough. Maybe he's funny. All right, I can't. Zoom in on that, but whatever. Oh, whoa. Loading. Yeah, okay. Granville smells like what concrete overpriced fast food and puke. A kind of battleground. Hello, Swirl. Okay, that was kind of a weird way to start a conversation. <laughs> okay, don't need a lawyer. Don't need money. Posters. Do -do. Anatoly. Alright, let's uh try to find this guy. This is just a first impression kinda wanna get to going. Job restoring the Vogue. If people watch more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Do -do. So, where am I supposed to be going? Uh, to Granville. Objectives. Wolf Bank on Granville. Okay. Wolf Bank, right here. How are you doing today, sir? <laughs> He's scared Derek's going to split his wig.
at the bite every Thursday. Elski Tattle. What was the name of that place? The Bite. Oh, that place. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. Let me in. Hold shift to run. Okay. Probably in the alley back here anyway. Probably fallen into some drugs. Is that him? No, that's a badger. Hello, Larry. My appearance. Liv, have you seen the tough crowd here? At the bridge. Eh, yeah. Really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. Squirrel kid. Oh, okay. That's squirrel. Pipe and Shatterfang. <laughs> Monkey butt. Oh, okay. Bloodworth. Okay. <laughs> you can rat. Okay, fair enough. Alright, don't want to go that way. What is that pink thing on his uh, head? Is there like uh, one of his ears? Have a chunk taken out of it or something? These uh, pixely graphics kind of don't make it really clear. The bite. Hello. East us world.
word didn't get or come from me. <laughs> All right, hey, it worked. My uh plan of pissing the guy off worked. Okay. All right, let's give it a quick once over. Give it the dude, Obi, Audrey. In the good. And another bouncer, so I have to assume I need to go up there. Said Bloodworth. Yeah, considering my office is right down the street. <laughs> oh crap, I screwed it up. Oh well. So definitely the sort of thing that you might want to either save scum or uh yeah, I'll just try a bunch of different options. Enter Crouch Mode. Oh, we stand up. Ooh. Hello. All 
All right. Let's see what's all down this street. Ooh, okay, so I probably could have just come by here and pick up some better clothes or something. There's a possible way. Foxy Burger. Burger sounds tasty. Yes, you are a trash panda. Go to your home. Oh, well, look at that. Another way to get in. All right. And that seems like it is all of it. Ooh. All right, or running it seems kind of choppy. Of course, I am. It's a, it's a thirty frames per second, but uh, I'm not gonna argue too much about that. Yeah, so not bad. Anyway, so yeah, this is. Oh, what the hell's the name? Backbone. Yep, this is a backbone. So. Oh, uh, yeah, kind of a noir detective kind of thing. Didn't really get too far into it. This is just a first impression anyway. Seems interesting. I was hoping to get a little deeper into the plot other than getting myself kicked out of the bite. You know, trying to trying to push things a little too fast. Trying to at least find the guy. See, uh, I get a better feel for what all is going on here. But I think I got a decent. Do 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 do. -do. Making him dance. So yeah, it seems pretty interesting. I uh, can't really say too much about if the story is good or not. Seems kind of a slow burn. Kind of figured this guy would be about drugs anyway. I'm sure there's some... Still kind of probably in like a tutorial-ish section. I'm sure there's probably some larger overarching uh, plot going on that he gets broiled up in. So lots of twists and turns, I am assuming. So, yeah, very uh, interesting. Not sure if I'll pick this one up. This is just a demo. So, yeah. Uh, now, uh, let me test and see if uh, this is playing in my VR headset because I did something wrong or if the game did something wrong. So, hold on. Yeah, weird. So, this one uh, looks like it really wants to be played in VR. I don't know if it's because it's a, a Unreal game or... What's going on there? So, just something to be aware of. Uh, it's probably just a... They probably just, you know, flipped some setting or something. I think this is just a... Demo anyway. So, this is a technically... A backbone prologue. So, yeah. There you go. Uh, no, this is a... Uh, okay, so this is not technically a demo. This is a... Uh, Okay, so I tried a couple other games, and maybe this is just because this is a Unreal game, and it just works differently with the Steam VR setup or whatever. I tried a couple other games. It looks like Unity games don't do this. I'll have to... I didn't go through my entire catalog and looking for <laughs> Unity games to test this against, but whatever, just something to be aware of that this game might pop up on your VR headset for some reason if you've got one. Yeah, so this is a Backbone Prologue. So this is not technically a demo. It looks like it looks like Backbone Prologue is like a standalone, like first uh, first episode or something like that. So whatever. Anyway, it, interesting. A kind of a slow burn kind of a game. More of a uh, based on the story. Didn't really get too far into the story. Can't really comment on. If it turns out to be good or not, but just kind of setting the stage right now. The graphics, uh, it's got the pixely graphics, which 
can be done well. It's kind of a kind of a hit or miss. Not really adding any points to it. Not really taking any points away. The whole animal thing, you know, could be interesting. I mean, sure. Uh, there's worse ways to uh, depict your characters, and it does because they are using the more pixely graphics. It does help, kind of, kind of help you to uh, tell them apart. Here, as I was saying, it was especially if it's so. Uh, so like I was saying, it pops up on my VR headset, but then it also pops open a window on my desktop. Now I've got a 4K monitor, and this window right here is pretty small, but I think I can... Yeah, don't don't worry about that, I can change that easy enough in the settings, but... But as I was going back to what, what, I, what I was saying about the uh, pixely graphics of that, since they are animals, it does kind of make them a little easier to stand out a little more diversity in that the character designs to make it easier to spot against other characters, I suppose, because the kind of with the whole uh, theme, they have a lot more muted colors sort of things. So like if these were just two normal people be standing in front of this other guy with a similar uh, tan trench coat, I almost uh, disappear right there. And we've got a little parallax going on there. That's kind of neat. So. Yeah, pretty uh, kind of interesting. So yeah, interesting, but I can't really say too much uh, beyond that. Well, I'm just <laughs> gonna have to call it there. So yeah, this is just a first impression. Hope you enjoyed it, and until uh, next time, Alita.